I would like to introduce you to one of my colleagues, one of my academic colleagues, uh, Alex, and uh, he's going to be telling us about, well, it says video killed the radio star. It's actually a little bit more complicated than that, but Alex Schindler, please. Thanks, Andrew, for the introduction. Uh, this talk is a, bit, a little bit different. It's not about creating music, it's about searching music, and I'm doing this a little bit different. Uh, this is what I call visual music computing. It's uh, about a new way of searching for music. And visual music is something I describe as uh, music that is, this is visually around us, not the music that you can hear, but the music that you can see. So let's rehearse. What, is it, what was it like to, to search for music in the old days? Uh, maybe there are some, is somebody here that remembers that. You went off to the record store to, to look for new music. You, you arrived at the record store and there were, you, there were this gangways loaded with records. And you had no idea how to search for music, but you had to look at the top and we had the genres. But still when you're, when you're looking for, when you were in the right section and your right genre, the music you like, you were still, you had the boxes with the records. And uh, how do you distinguish? How do you find new music? You had to pick records, you had to queue up uh, in front of the record player, you had to listen to the music, and it takes time. It, uh, you only had to, you, if you listen to one song, it takes about 10 to 30 seconds to, to find out if you like it or not. So, so what have we been doing? We painted the record labels. We, used all kind of information to, to distinguish one track from another, one, re one record from the other. There's all kinds of information presented on, on records. This is, um, it, it, it tells us what, what style we can expect. Is it romantic music? Which artist can we expect to, to, to hear singing on this? Which genre is it? And it's a bit different on the Mac. Which, which genre can we expect? Is it metal music? Is it dance music? Country music? So over the time, the, the, the artists created some kind of visual language that we got accustomed to. So this is all kind of symbol that represent uh, a music genre. The cowboy hat for country music, punk rock, hip hop music. We look at it and we know which kind of music. And thus it is, uh, it is possible to, to estimate the genre of music videos without hearing the sound. So the, the reason the, the, that human can do this tells us that there's a lot of information hidden in, in visual music and that we we only have to find a way to extract this information computationally to find new ways to search for music. So what's the use case? Why are we doing this? This is somebody and we're creating a new music search system and we want to recommend new music to him. So what's... Oh my god, that's completely messed up. Um, sorry. Okay, I'm doing it. Uh, what ways do we have to, to, to estimate which kind of music does he like? There are some way we have to ask. And that's currently state of the art of music recommendation system. Spotify is doing this. When you create a, a new account in a music online service, they are asking you permanently, what kind of music do you like? Do you like, what genre do you like? And this is all to create a profile to recommend music to you. And the other way of asking is uh, collecting feedback. When you listen music on Spotify, Pandora, they are collecting all the start data in the background and also create a profile around you and compare the profiles of different users and recommend you uh, music. It's like the Amazon users that bought this article also looked at this article. And the same thing is done with music. So, 
But the problem is if you don't know if you don't know a person or if you don't know a user profile in advance, it's always the, the problem to start off. And what I'm arguing is, in my interpretation, it's so easy to see which kind of music this guy likes. And we just have to, to find ways to, to extract that information and to turn it into music recommendations. So. And that's what I call visual music computing. So it's the, the visual analysis of, of music references in daily life. And I'm doing this with music, with music videos. There are a lot of things that can be extracted from music videos, like segmentation, color information, uh, rhythm. And one experiment I've done was to identify the artist of, of a music video. And this is currently a, a problem with, with uh, information extracted from the audio content. So I tried it with the video content. And I tried to detect faces and match them with, with images from Google. So, and here you can see a video where a uh, music video is running and every, from every Levine has been shown. And there are different artists' lists <laughs> on the side. And then the algorithm tries to match the um, uh, how much does this, this video or its face shown in the video match to photos of, of the data set? And the results were that it worked. It worked uh, surprisingly good. Uh, there, is a lot, there are a lot of complications, but uh, applying visual information to enhance audio classification is a way to go. So and there's also effective analysis. So we know that uh, applying scary music to, to movies enhances the, the effect. This is, uh, how this is done in, in horror movies. So what about the other way around? And there are some studies that found out that there are relations between music and emotion and the colors. So I analyzed music videos according to this and I did a color analysis and uh, yeah, the results showed that there are subtle differences between the genres in, in color usage. And if you look at the um, color information, you can see that opera and metal use more black colors, more dark colors, and that Bollywood have more red. And so, so there's distinction between colors of different genres. Uh, it also looked like some uh, effective information contrasts in, in music videos, like light colors, dark colors, warm colors, cool colors. And also to, to uh, I also analyzed uh, these references between color and emotion. Here you can see effect and arousal values and dominance. So this is like um, mood detection. Here's a video showing the color information. So extracting all this information to, to detect, to, to try to enhance music classification, music recommendation, showed that those, this pleasure, this effective information and the distribution of black and white is very, very expressive. But unfortunately, the results of this study showed that it's not really good. Information based on color, information based on uh, contrasts and, and all these things, is not not as expressive is not expressive enough so i had to look further and i did semantic analysis of music videos like detecting all kinds of stuff objects and and things and persons uh, i went back to this to this visual vocabulary i mentioned before and tried to detect uh drum sets guitars cars cabs and all this stuff. And there's this new approach called deep learning, and it's, this is this Google thing, object detection. 
And what they're doing is they're using all kinds of images, all kinds of concepts, and train the, the system to identify images that are like microphones, cowboy hats. Do you have, do you have thousand, 1,000 categories they are training the system on and are able to te detect them surprisingly good? So I used this system and applied them to music videos. And this is an example frame of a rock music video rotation needed, but it also detected a drumstick that even I can see here. So this was a romantic uh, music video and there were some kinds of mosquito nets and uh, wardrobe, dance music videos, it's the bathing suits, bikini, uh, country music video. I detected a pickup truck which is which appears in many country music videos. Yeah, and this one, people who know Alice Cooper know that he won't win fashion competitions, but I think that's kind of unfair. But that's what the system detected. <laughs> okay. So, so what... So when you analyze music videos, you get all this, this expectation. You can, you can all these this classifications, and you use this, and you compare this, and then you can create, then can you cal uh, calculate similarities between music videos, and again, use this for, for classification. And surprisingly, the results are really good. They work, this, this approach works really good. It's 72%, which means, uh, three or four videos you can classify correctly. So it's a nice approach. And what can you do with this? This is my, my grand 50 years in advance vision. It's like using video cameras, surveillance cameras, your, your webcam to, to create music recommendations. When you think of, of uh, Pubs, there you always you have the surveillance cameras, and when you something like bypass the surveillance system into the stereo, you can create a mutual accepted playlist based on closing, based on behavior, and all those. And another side effect, this was a little music hack, is you can create, you can automatically create music videos. This was a nice experiment where I did some music segmentation and I tried to link video snippets to audio snippets and then I downloaded a song from the free music archive which had no music video and then I compared the, the snippets from, from the collection that I extracted before from on the audio file and I found out this, this little snippet sounds like a little snippet in the music video and I did this for all segments of the, of the free music archive song. And then when, I, when, when you put all this together you, create a, you get a music video and that's like a, a compilation of different music videos and they all fit to the track which you can't hear but it's a metal track and the snippets selected from the data set are all metal uh, metal video snippets so the reggae the data set contains of reggae music dance music house everything and the snip the, the videos that were put together and selected are all metal videos because they are similar to the audio from the videos. So, we've come to the end of my presentation. Um, I hope I've convinced you that this is an uh, um, interesting topic because music, visual music is all around this. I went through the streets and it's really interesting. There are so many references. And I hope that uh, this gets some, some traction and in future we will see more research on this topic. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alex.